Hello everyone, it is Mr. Stubstep, and today I have a Pikachu V10. So, let's get into it. There's the back if you're curious. So first off, we have that Pikachu V promo. So, I'm not planning on getting all three of these tins because I just really don't like the pack selection on the inside. I just don't think it's worth $24.99 to get these for retail. Not in horrible condition, but nice little Pikachu promo card. Because yeah, the pack selection, we uh, you get two Darkness of Blaze. Dang, these were just kind of crammed and like stuck in there. A Fates Collide, which is from XY. Sun and Moon Base, which is eh. Rebel Clash, which is eh. And then another Darkness of Blaze. So really the only two packs in here that I actually like are the two Darkness of Blaze. I mean, it'd be cool to get, you know, some Alakazam cards and the Fates Collide, but yeah. So we'll start out with the Darkness of Blaze. And actually later in this video, if you want to stay tuned, if you're just here for the Pikachu V10 opening, that's awesome, and I'm, I'm glad you came. Thanks for stopping by. But I will also be sh uh, showing a pickup that I made from a game exchange, basically just you know searching through their bulk, and uh, found some pretty good cards to add to my to my older sets, some of the Watsy sets to fill them out. So if you like seeing that, you'll be able to see my collection fill out a little bit with those older cards, and it's I personally think it'd be pretty pretty cool to watch. Reverse Hollow Snubble and a Flygon. I don't think I have this one yet, but starting off all right. Fates Collide, X, Y. I do not have very many cards in this set. Oh wow, that, that came open very easily. If I remember correctly, it's only three for X, Y, or at least it should be. All right, so Fossil Excavation Kit. So yeah, I might admire these a little bit because Warmadam, me a useless Pokemon. Kabuto, I like that Pokemon a lot. Snivy, of course, superior. Whismur, Minchino. Oh wow, is this Minchino like a chef or something or just cleaning dishes, organizing dishes? That's cool. Rayolu in a tree. Biangle playing tug of war with itself. A reverse hollow rare Lucario. Nice. That's awesome. And a Tyranitar hollow. Wow. That is not bad. I do like Tyranitar. Can't go wrong with Pokemon that looks like a dinosaur or Godzilla or whatever. Sun and Moon Base. Shoot, I honestly, I opened a booster box of this when it first came out way back. That was like my second surge of collecting cards, but I can't remember any of the, the really good cards in this set. So, I mean, I'll take anything at this point. Spinda. Potion, Hypno, I remember that card. I really like this stencil artwork. Spiro, Psyduck, Eevee, classic Eevee card. Pick a peck, first holo Cosmoem, which is a reverse rare. Nice, another one, and Masquerain. I remember this holo. Nothing special about it. Rebel Clash, looking for that Rainbow Rare Marnie. That would be amazing. And I guess a boss's orders would be nice. Any variation, because I don't have the full art or the, the secret rare of it. Um, but yeah. Water, skunk tank, full heal. Yeah, we had some Vietnamese food today, and it was it was really good. I haven't had pho or anything like that in a long time. Reverse holo. Oh, that's an uncommon phalanx. Nice. And a wish cash. Shoot, I actually don't think I've... I have either of those cards, the Phalanx or the Wish Cash. And Darkness of Blaze. So, nothing too special so far. Maybe this Darkness of Blaze will take care of us in the end. If not, the cards I'll show you for my, my pickup today will probably provide enough decent of a decent showing in this video, hopefully. All right, final set. Let's see if Last Pack Magic is a thing. Ursaring Heat Energy, Semiseer. I think I'm still looking for the Hide Energy or one of those energies, the special energies I'm still missing. Pansage, Tauros, Cape of Toughness. Not a bad reverse holo to get. The final card of this opening, Tapu Koko Holo. Shoot. Yeah. So, pretty weak opening so far, but now I'll be going through some nice vintage cards that I picked up today. So I probably picked up around close to about 100 cards, and all these cards in total 
cost right around $20. I think it was like 20 and some change or 21 and some change. So obviously none of these are in amazing condition. I think the best condition you'll probably find is lightly played. I don't think anything is near mint. Maybe some of the, the later cards are, but so starting off with a Shadow Listratini. I was very pleased with this. Actually, let me just scan through these really quick. So starting out with base set, obviously. Got a Farfetch'd, Growlithe, Ivysaur. I was very glad to finally find an Ivysaur. I still don't have the base set uh, Bulbasaur. I have the base set 2-1. Kadabra, really happy to find that card. Magikarp, Magmar. Yeah, so all of these. War Turtle, awesome. Abra, finding that base set Charmander. It's not bad. I mean, it's all unlimited, but... Still, it's really nice to, to fill these older sets. I have a Pikachu from base set already, but it was in really bad condition. This one is in a little bit better condition, but once again, not near mint. Poliwag, Voltorb, Men, Gust of Wind, Potion, and then moving right into some Fossil. And uh, there's actually a few first editions sprinkled in here. Once again, this is not in very good condition. It's in pretty cruddy condition, but I mean, it's a first edition Gloom, which is kind of cool. Got Persian, Primeape. Rapidash with a bunch of, looks like seasoning. Rapidash with some seasoning, Sea King, Weeping Bell. This Eevee card is just, I love this Eevee card so much. And this Jigglypuff card. I got it in base set two with the last pickup, but found it. And then moving on into Fossil. Got Cloyster, Ghastly, Sandslash, Slowpoke, Ekans. This Ekans card, I don't know why, but when I think of Fossil, this is the card that I think of. Omni and... A first, edition, a first edition Tentacle, which is actually in lightly played condition, which is pretty cool. So that's actually the first little half of that. And then I have another half that's actually a little bit thicker, going into some base at two. Got Dugong, Dodrio, another Dratini, Jinx, Lickitung, Nidorino. So yeah, I was really pleased to go through a lot of these. It's kind of difficult because I maybe had like a couple packs worth of each set. And then when you throw base at two in there, it gets really confusing on what you actually have and what you don't. So I've been using the app Poe Collector to like keep track of the cards that I have because TCG player is just, it's really good for keeping track of prices, but for knowing what cards you have in each sets, it's it's definitely easier to have separate apps. And then got a hollow wheezing, which is, you know, and probably like moderately to lightly played condition. There's probably like some Actually, the hollow does not look too bad. I mean, it's very faint hollow on this. But got a hollow wheezing, a dark blastoise, which is in really poor condition, dark hypno, and a dark magneton, all non-hollows. But I was definitely not charged what I should have been for these, because, yeah, they're they're not too shabby right now, even though they're unlimited. Dark Machoke, Diglett. Team Rocket's actually the, the one vintage set that I am closest to completing, so that's the one I'm kind of going for right now, besides Evolutions and Modern. We're rolling into some Gym Heroes. Not bad. Just a lot of these cards, like, I you don't see very often, so anytime I see them, it's like, wow. Especially, like, Gym Challenge. Like, I, I didn't get any Gym Challenge growing up, like, Gym Heroes, and then I had a little gap. So seeing Gym Challenge is just really awesome. And then going into some Neo. Got Neo Genesis, that's awesome. Love all these cards. Another first edition, just randomly got a first edition Oddish. Is this one? Eh, in pretty poor condition. And then going into, uh, yeah. Got Neo Discovery. Nice. I really like this Paris card. Actually, a lot of the Neo cards were in fairly decent condition, like Max that lightly played. And then uh, some Neo Revelation. And then finishing up with some Evolutions that I still need. Because I just haven't pulled like all the holo cards, and then I'm slowly ordering like the ultra rares. So reverse holo Gyarados that has a ton of scratching on the holo foil. And then holo Magneton. And then a holo Chansey. So yeah, that's all I wanted to show you show you guys today. I want to thank you guys for watching and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Definitely some shining legends coming up. And yeah, have a good one. Yeah.